Hello everyone. Continuing with our numerical on framed RCC building. Now the next step is reinforcement calculation. Now the percentage of reinforcements are given to us as per the work. And from there we will find out how much how much is the volume of reinforcement and from that volume multiplying the density of steel we will find out what is the weight of the reinforcement in quintals okay so for example footings columns beams roof slab these all are given to us the percentage of reinforcements are given to us the volume of work we have calculated and then with this volume of work we shall multiply the percentage of reinforcement and then we will get the uh, volume of reinforcement and that that volume of reinforcement is to be multiplied with the density to get the quintals how many quintals of reinforcements will be required now here it is a slight change from the previous class in the previous class we assumed the column length from here to uh, here okay but this portion is not to be added in our column length okay in this particular problem this portion is not column length column length is up to this point so there's that modification has been made okay column length is up to the roof level now after this we have to calculate for first class brick work now the brick work is in thickness 200 mm at certain location and then at few location it is 100 mm thick so we have to do this calculation separately in the living room what is the brick work we saw the dimension is 3.7 mm by 5.5 mm is the roof dimension so in the front side the front and back wall the length is 3.7 meter this is the thickness of the work and this is the height of the brick work height of the wall and we get the total volume the height we have calculated from the sectional drawing here okay up to this point is 2.6 meter up to this point from here and then we have 0 0.45 meter this much okay for the plinth wall then similarly on the right side wall we are taking 5.3 meter the room dimension was 5.5 meter but there is a column in between that is the reason where, why we are subtracting 0 0.2 meter. That is the dimension of the column from the wall uh, length or the room length, the total room length minus 0 0.2 meter for the column inside, we are getting 5.3 meter. Similarly, in kitchen, it was two meter, the length of the wall, then, this is the same thickness and this is the same height we are getting this value similarly on the left side similarly in the veranda this is the length and other dimensions are remaining same so length breadth and height we are multiplying we are getting the total volume and then we are adding them up and in certain location there are 100 mm walls but in those locations also the plinth wall is 200 mm thick so that wall we have to add here so we are writing under the 100 mm partition wall what we have we have 200 mm thick uh, plinth wall okay now the length is same this is the thickness same and now this depth is changing this depth is 0 0.45 meter from where this is from this diagram here here it is mentioned that this is 0 0.45 meter after that, okay, after that, we have to go to the steps, okay, the steps, three steps, uh, the length is same, it is given to us as one meter, 
and the bread the bread is changing the bread is changing we will have to see that from this external drawing and so is the height at one point if we go back to this external drawing we see here that this is written steps 25 by 15 centimeter that means one step 25 centimeter two steps 50 centimeter and three steps 75 centimeter and the heights are or the risers are 15 centimeter okay but at the first step it is given here that this is riser so this is going to be 15 centimeter and there is 10 centimeter below the ground level so that means it is going to be 15 plus 10 25 centimeter so that is what we are doing here at these steps for the first footing the length is same the break is 25 centimeter plus 25 centimeter plus 25 centimeter that is 75 centimeter or 0 0.75 meter the height is 15 centimeter plus 10 centimeter which is below the ground level so this is the height or depth then we get the volume by multiplying them in the second step this is 25 centimeter plus 25 centimeter and 0 0.15 meter or 15 centimeter is our riser and then we get the volume similarly in the third step then there are walls by the side of these steps okay the wall length is given in the drawing 0 0.6 meter in the plan drawing we can find out then this bridge is given in the drawing and this is the height or depth this is also mentioned and we get this total volume then we have parapet wall parapet wall over the roof slab the thickness is also 200 mm now this parapet wall will be from outside to outside that is why we are taking this entire dimension the parapet wall is from here to here okay so we are adding everything we are adding everything 0 0.2 meter for the column size then 2 meter for this column to column then again column size then again 3.7 and then again 0 0.2 meter if we add then we will get this value 6.3 meter we will get okay similarly on the other side we will get 5.50 meter this is the breadth of the walls and this is the height of the walls that is same everywhere and when then we are finally getting out the volume and then finally we are getting the total work now this is total brickwork without any deduction. We are not subtracting for the doors, windows, etc. After that, we subtract for the doors and windows. The sizes of the doors and windows we put, okay? Different sizes of windows are there with the sizes we take and we multiply them. We get the total volume and we subtract it from this initial value to get the final or net total work. Then there are some walls which are 100 mm thick now the 100 mm thick walls are to be measured in square meter so what we have to take their length we have to take the bread is not to be written here the bread has to be mentioned separately that these are the walls that are 100 mm thick and the depth is this much and then we have to find out the value now this is 2.6 why because the plinth wall is 200 mm thick and that has already been calculated and added okay there was one wall between the kitchen and the living room if we go back to our plan diagram this wall this wall here was 100 mm thick so we have to calculate for this wall what is the dimension of this wall we have to calculate then these walls in the front of the veranda and on the side of the veranda are also 100 mm thick so we have to do the calculation for those wall and then we have to subtract for the doors there okay so the veranda similarly the dimensions we are taking this is the height the parapet wall is 0 0.8 meter at the veranda and this is in one side and this is in the uh, side okay this is where the total length we are taking then we have to deduct the door openings okay this is the door opening this is the height of the door and this is for the gate okay so that is what we have to subtract Okay. This door 
for the portion where there is the wall in between the kitchen and the living room and the gate in the front of the veranda okay this is here we are taking this two meter entire length and then we are subtracting for the gate okay or we can also take this as reduced but if there are more doors and walls then it is better to take the entire length and then subtract the doors and windows for clarity then we have lime concreting work in the roof now this lime concreting is from the parapet wall from the side of the parapet wall to the side of the parapet wall so that is why this dimension is here and we are getting this value the direction 5.50 and this is the total again in this case this slime concreting is being applied as a covering as a layer of waterproofing etc therefore it is not to be measured in cubic meter it is to be measured in square meter so dpc this line concreting in the roof and 10 centimeter brickwork these things are to be measured in square meter that we have to remember then we go for plastering now in the plastering we have written inside because this work has to be done separately why we are writing inside and outside if we see here this is the plan now if we do plastering we have to do here inside this is the dimension inside from the wall to wall but in the outer side from the outer part of the column to the outer part of the column we have to do the plastering work therefore the dimensions are different on the inside and on the outside therefore we are doing it separately so now we go to the plastering work we go to the plastering work in the living room these dimensions are same this is the size of the room this is the size of the room 5.5 into 3.7 there are two walls of 5.5 meter length and there are two walls on 3.7 meter length on two sides the height is same everywhere we know that already and then in the kitchen what is the size of the wall and in the veranda what is the size of the wall okay in the veranda there is only one 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 full walls and then we are finding out the total volume in square meter then similarly we go on doing the calculations for the veranda side wall this is the parapet walls which are of smaller height okay then we have to do a little bit of work in the gems of the gate and in the sides of the doors also so what are those what are those okay one moment what are those okay so if we have a door if we have a door here and the wall is of slightly greater thickness then what will happen this part okay suppose this is the wall and this is the door here and this is the wall here this there will be some extra part if the frame of the door the thickness of the frame of the door is smaller than the thickness of the wall then on both sides there will be some portion left out that portion we have to do clustering work so that is what we are doing here in the in the gate what happens on one side on this side because this is the gate only we have to do full plastering here up to this entire one okay and here also and here some portion of this gate will have to do plastering now here also if we see the frame of the window is of slightly smaller thickness so in this portion some some amount of plastering will be required okay so that is what we are doing here
this is vertical gem of the gate okay on the left side on the left side 0 0.8 meter in the parapet side this is the thickness of the wall we have to do this plastering work then also on the upper surface because it's a parapet wall smaller height okay the upper surface is free so the upper surface also we have to do the plastering work then in the jams of doors and ventilators or fan light okay so what are the sides what is the length the size of the door is this much the chokats are this much okay the chokat is 12 centimeter by 8 centimeter so uh, 12 centimeter is the breadth and 8 centimeter is the depth now the breadth is 12 centimeter the wall thickness is 200 centimeter sorry 200 millimeter or 20 centimeter so 200 millimeter minus 120 millimeter is 80 millimeter so 80 millimeter plastering work we have to do by the sides of the doors frames and window frames also so what we are doing here in case of doors we have to add this three side in case of length and in case of windows obviously we have to add four sides so that is the thing the door size is given 1.2 meter this is 1.2 meter for the door and this is going to be 2.6 meter door plus the ventilators so 2.6 meter one side 1.2 meter one side and 2.6 meter another side makes it this is the total length this is the breadth this is the total work then similarly in case of windows of different sizes we are adding the dimension in case of window what we have to do 180 plus 170 plus 180 plus 170 like this in all four sides there will be some some portion of the wall which are not covered by the frame of the window that portion we have to do plastering now these are the deduction for the doors and window sizes we are multiplying and divide, subtracting from the total calculation now finally we also have to do calculations for paintings hole fast nuts bowls windows doors frames okay but we are skipping that part okay just to keep it simple it is already very long for the painting it will be exactly similar to the plastering the size will be same with the plastering mm -hmm. then the painting work will come how much codes are required according to that the paintings will come then the doors the frames of the doors we have to calculate in cubic meter then the shutter of the doors we have to calculate in square meter then the whole fuzz etc we will come in numbers and weights so with this we complete this numerical